Hey, it's Kithlin, and this is a sort of uh, tip stroke how to video for Battletech Advanced about getting your perfect start. So, this uh, basically we've picked default stuff, but if you've played before, you may notice a difference straight away. Well, we're at New Certis, that isn't somewhere you start normally, and there's other major differences here. If we go to our mech bay, we've got the normal bonus rewards you get as soon as you start. Just continue through that. We've got an off scout. Quite a nice off scout actually if you look at it. Beagle probe, guardian ECM, light engine, A pods. Full stats. A mm, little missing on armour but not bad at all for a scout, let's face it. What else we got? We've got Timberwolf Prime. Don't normally start with one of those. Phoenix Hawk Lamb. Grinner, which is one of the hero mechs. And a Wraith. And that's not all. If we go to the vehicle base, we've got a Rommel. And a Pegasus Scout Hover Tank. But look, you see? It's actually the clan version. You can't normally salvage that. Never mind, buy it in the shops. And the battle armour, we've got elemental armour. Now, you're probably wondering how I did all that. Well, well, the answer is through creating my own starter file. So, this is the starter file for the, Divi uh, the Davian default start. If you choose Davian, you start on... Uh, Katangata, you've got all these mechs, or rather, these are lists of mechs. So, starting generic medium, starting generic light, starting Davian light, and so on. These are lists of mechs. You can basically you end up with one from each of these. Now, where is this? Well, it. Wherever you got your BattleTech game. Uh, installed. In my case, I've got it from uh, GOG because I backed the Kickstarter way back when. And there's a mods folder. Within the mods folder, you've got all everything to do with BattleTech Advanced, including BattleTech Advanced starters directory. In there, you've got the starters base, starters theme. You've got a little picture that gives you a bit of an idea of how to uh, edit this, and the same uh, with this readme text but this video is giving you a bit more of an in-depth guide. Now the recommendation is if you're wanting to create your own um, start, put it into the theme directory. As, as you can see, in here I've got my Kithran start. What I actually did to create it was literally I took the Davia one, copied it into that directory and changed the name. Then there's a few things you need to do. Firstly, most importantly, you need to change the ID and the name. Because otherwise, it's, well, if you change the ID, if you don't change the ID, things just don't work properly. If you don't change the name, you're going to have two um, starts with the same name, which is going to be confusing for you. Next thing you can change, where you actually start. Now in this case, I've got new Certis. Note here, there isn't a space. Even though if we were to switch back to the game, you'd see there's a space in the name. Now, where do you get the list of all the names? Well, you could sort of look around the map, but how do you know exactly what format they're wanting here? Well, if we go back up to the mods directory, scroll down here, there is the Innersphere map. Within there, star systems. And yes, you see, we've got every single star system. And what you're interested in is this bit of the name. That's what you need to have in the file. So you could start anyway. You could start on Outreach, although I wouldn't recommend it for a specific reason I'll go into later. Now, if we go back to our new thirty start, one very important thing to be aware of. The skull difficulty of the planet. 
that still applies. So here we are. We're in a starting mech company. We may well have decent mechs, but half the missions we can't do because we don't have the ret reputation with the faction to do them. And the others are four and a half, five scale missions here because it's a five scale planet. There is one exception to this, and that is when you get the BTA training mission, that will similarly have like a four and a half skull difficulty. Your experience gain will be as if it's a four and a half skull difficulty. But the actual opponents you're facing are going to be just the default ones for the training mission. So that is the only benefit you'll get from starting here. The downside is, is you're almost certainly never going to be able to do any of these other missions and you're going to have to immediately travel. Likewise, uh, yeah, I recommended not starting somewhere like Outreach. That's because there are no missions there. So you're definitely, after you've done that one training mission, going to have to travel. But, anyway. That's how you can change where you start. The next thing you're going to want to change is what you start with. Now, there's two ways you can do this. The way that I've done it, or the I'm lazy way. The I'm lazy way is, if we go back to the starters, BTA Advanced Starters directory, in here, you've got Item Collection Mechs. And this is basically every single collection of mechs and I know I say mechs here, this also includes things like battle armour, APCs, tanks, etc. So everything you see, you start with in your mech bay, your vehicle bay and your battle armour bay. For all the different starts are listed here. And if we'll just grab one, um, generic Blakis Light as an example, if we quickly look at this. This is the format for all of them. You have the top line. You have the mechs that are in there. You have the word mech. You have the number one. And then you have the probability between one and nine of that happening, of that appearing. So basically, if you were to have the Blakist Delight option, you're most likely to get a Hussa 400D because that's got the highest probability. You're least likely to get the Sentinel 3L. And despite the number of times you see them, you're you're uh, you're not most likely to get the th get a Thorn. I mean, the number of those you see fighting Blake and Comstar is ridiculous, but you're not that you're not most likely to see those under, under the category of Blake is like as a starter. That's what that's the important thing to remember. So what you could do is in the start you could change the first uh, one here to say you know, item collection mech starting Blake is light. And that would then give you instead of in the Davian case, the generic medium, a Blake is light mech, and so on. What I've done actually here is I've created my own starting lists. I say lists, but they aren't actually lists, they're literally just single mechs, but there's no reason why they couldn't be lists in the same way. So for example, we've got the Phoenix Hawk Lamb, and literally it just has a single mech in there. So at that point, the probability number is irrelevant. Because there is only one mech, that will be the mech you will get. So we've got that, the Wolfhound one, if you look at that, that's the uh, Wolfhound 2C, Grinner, which was Felon Kell's mech that uh, was given to him by uh, Ulrich Kerensky, and so on. Now, all of these vehicles and mechs and battle armors aren't that are listed in here 
They aren't all found in one place. So that's the one thing you do need to be a bit of hunting about for. Because they're scattered around. You've got clan mechs. And in here you've got all the clan mechs. So Hunchback 2C, Kingfisher, Medusa, and so on. You've got clan tanks. And notice this is in a vehicle directory, not a mech directory, because it's vehicles. And they start vehicle death. So you've got the clan LOM carriers, the clan Pegasus LOM clan, etc. Now these, even though they are vehicles, if we look at the item collection that I made for the Pegasus, uh, Pegasus there it is. It still says mech in the actual file, but it's vehicle death, Pegasus LOM clan, i.e. the name of the file. It still says mech, and it goes in there. And there's a couple more places you need to know about, because at the moment we've done clan mechs, we've done clan tanks. Well, unsurprisingly, Battletech Advanced Mechs in the mech directory. This is all the main mechs in BTA. And yep, this is a big long list. You've also got quad mechs in a separate directory. Again, under mech. Considerably shorter list, this one. The new Sanctuary World stuff. I've deliberately not gone in there because we've not come across them in the uh, stream. You've got unique mechs. And what these are are things like the hero mechs, basically. So, for example, down here we've got the Wolfhound 2C, for example, which is Grinner. And finally, just to confuse you, it's not in a BTA or Battletech Advanced tag directory, instead of VIP advanced, you've got most of the base vehicles, so APC, Assault, Heavy, Light, Medium. Each of these has got a whole load of vehicle definitions in. So that's where you get all the vehicles that you can then put in your own lists to have your own random starts. There is one very important thing to remember, well two really, and that is how much space you start with. Because if you go and look in your mech bay, you only have six battle armor slots. So you can't have a situation, you don't want, you've got to be very careful, make sure you can't have a situation where you can have more than six battle armors. Likewise, more than six vehicles, and more than six mechs. Now you could, in theory, I believe, have six of each. Of course, you'd have no space for anything extra. And you've still got the limitation, when you take a mission, of how many spaces you start with on a deployment. So if we quickly just hit deploy, and that is two mech-only bays, two battle armour but only base, two either vehicle or mech base, and two anything at all. So, unless you're talking mechs, you can only actually ever deploy at the start four battle armour at most, or at most four vehicles. So even though you can have six of each initially in theory in your bays, you won't be able to use them all. Likewise, you can only ever initially deploy six mechs. And that means that the only other thing you'd be able to deploy is two battle armor. Because you don't start with any exclusive vehicle bays. But that's the other you know sort of gotcha you need to be aware of.
now. When you've done all that, I'll just quit this because this was just an example. How do you actually take advantage? Well, you just hit career, hit new, and starting planet and mechs. Now initially you've got all the actual location based starts. So you've got your Magistry, Marion, Marek, Outworlds, etc. Then you have all the the directory, uh, all the ones in that theme directory. So you've got them, again, all uh, come alphabetically. So Battle Armor, Medium X, Industrial. And then you see Kith, and you literally just select it, choose all the other settings, and hit Start. And that is all there is to it. It's very simple, really. But it can be very good if you're wanting to do, you know, no, I really want to play Steiner, but I want to start here or there, or I really want to have this particular mech or these particular mechs or to start with. Um, without having to sort of spend your first you know, sort of few hours playing the game to get to the situation you actually wanted to start in. So, hopefully you found this useful. And uh, with that, I will say... Farewell, and Kithan out. Catch you later.